hello friends in this lecture we will learn about what is known as virtual lan okay so we will learn about virtual lan so what is first what is lan a local area network and the term virtual comes here which is a, a very hot topic today virtual anything virtual okay virtual operating system virtual resources so what is virtual lan it means something that is not actually a local area network but we try to somehow put the pieces together and make it local area network so here if you see this is a common lan so there is a switch okay and there are three ports so port 1 port 2 and port 3 and there is one group here okay so this is there so this is a local area network this is another local area network LAN 2 and this is LAN 3 which we call as groups okay so what happens is this is a LAN okay so whatever I broadcast here so this is a broadcast domain so whatever I will send a packet all these four nodes will receive those packets because they are in the same broadcast domain they are in the same physical network then here also the same thing but if a packet on this node is sent all of these will receive it but when it goes here it will not go to port 1 or port 3 it will not be forwarded okay so this is a common LAN okay and let's say this is a any office okay so any software company so where we have group one okay group two and group three so group one only contacts has uh, broadcast messages from its own group let's say this is engineering group so engineering groups receives message from engineering this is marketing group or LAN so all the marketing group people receive messages from each other it's broadcasted but no message grows from engineering to this marketing okay and so on so what how does virtual LAN help so this is let's say first floor of the building this is second floor and this is the third floor now the thing is this separates physically that okay on the first floor only engineers should be there on second floor only your market people should be there and management should be there on the third floor okay but what happens if somehow I say that okay these two people now they are transferred to second floor and one of the marketing people goes to the first floor and then some manager also wants to come one manager wants to come to the marketing people floor and another one to the engineering floor so in that case how will we maintain even though physically they are different locations but i want that they should be in the same group or broadcast domain so here your virtual lan helps so how does it help let's try to see so we have virtual lan and here what happens now also we have a switch okay so we still have a switch but it's a VLAN software based switch so it's a soft switch where what happens we have the ports but they can be programmed now we have one two three four <coughs> five six seven eight nine ten ports are there on your switch and then what happens is we have ten computers machines attached to them and what we say is that the group VLAN 1 what does a LAN means that all of they are on the same broadcast domain so now even though these computers are different okay but let's say computer connected to port 1 port 2 port 5 and 7 they are in the same broadcast domain okay so computer 1 if it sends a message it will be received by 2 5 and 7 okay so what we say is that 1 2 then 5 and 7 are in the same broadcast domain and hence they are on the same LAN but it's a virtual LAN they are not directly connected through an 800 wire but they are connected through now a switch which is can be programmed okay so this is LAN VLAN 
VLAN 1. Then we have 3, 4 and 6. Okay. So 3, 4 and 6 are on VLAN 2 and 8, 9, 10 are on VLAN 3. Okay. So these are forming a group and hence now what happens if 3 sends a message, it will be sent to port 5, 6 and 7 so that, okay, so 3, so which computers are there? Okay, so 3, 4 and 6. So when this 3 sends a message, so port 3 will forward it to 4 and 6 port. Okay, so that they are on the same broadcast domain. The whole idea of VLAN technology is now a logical grouping rather than a physical grouping. So what's the biggest advantage? So now you don't need to take care of your like if people are changing their group. Okay. So what I will do is just I have to tell that okay. If I want that okay now 3, 4 and 6 were on VLAN. And now let's say person 6, okay, the machine 6 wants to join VLAN 3. So what I will do? I will just say that, okay, VLAN 3 at computer 6. So in my programming itself in the table, I will just say that, okay, that port number 6 now goes to VLAN 3. So that is the advantage. You don't need to physically disconnect, okay from a switch and move that computer to another switch and so on okay so that is very advantageous vlan so it says it creates broadcast domains okay and what are the advantage so the advantages let's try to check out so cost and time reduction so first of all again the cost you are not moving physically the wires only i program that okay now port 5 now it's going from vlan 1 to vlan 3 or so on can reduce the migration cost of stations from one group to another physical reconfiguration takes time and is very costly it is much easier and quicker to move using software and we can create virtual groups okay so if a, a switch okay if a switch has let's say 32 ports i can make let's say a vlan five vlans okay and then i can configure it say that okay vlan one will have port number one seven twenty two thirty one and 14 okay then i can configure that vlan 2 will have 3 5 and 6 and so on so now what happens this kind of forms a broadcast domain whatever packet 22 will forward send it will be sent to 1 7 22 31 and 14 and not to any other ports okay under the other computer and it provides security because what happens extra measure of security is there people belonging to the same group can send broadcast message with the guarantees assurance that users in other group will not get that message okay so that is important so this is about your and now the next question comes is how do we divide okay now vlan how do we program the switch okay so there is a switch we have ports on switch so how can we divide the group so one way is based on the ports okay that port number this 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 whatever computer are connected to port 178 create vlan one for it okay another one is i can use ip address okay ip address to create the virtual LAN that okay the IP address 135.26.57.8 and let's say 135.26.57.12 okay they are on the same VLAN and something like that we can do it based on the MAC address okay so there are different ways of doing it and this says that okay VLAN helps in configuring different lands for 
which are virtual okay and it removes the physical foundations so i hope you understand this thanks a lot